my name is Philip Gutierrez. Welcome to uh, this new adventure that I'm on here and trying to welcome you into uh, my life. From artist to entrepreneur is a journey that I've been on for 22 years in the last 10. Uh, really focused on being that entrepreneur and learning and guiding. So hopefully I can be here to help you. Uh, you'll be into my life, uh, follow me around and hopefully I can add value and show you what it's like to move from, from artist to entrepreneur. I don't know. All right, so today is Monday. I always love Mondays. Mondays is the time for me to connect with my staff. So today's training, uh, the Zoom training with all 10 locations and we'll be at the Cypress studio. Uh, and that's what we're gonna go over those first six months and celebrating, of course, celebration of what we've done well and understanding that, again, achievement and fulfillment are different. And we wanna look at the numbers, but we also wanna reflect, right? Results plus reflection equals progress. But as you can tell, it's getting a little loud in here. So let's go ahead and head over to the Cypress studio. But when I'm personally hiring, those things I look for, one is, again, their, their level of, uh, you know, how well do they connect? How do they have values? Are they here to, especially in our industry, which is dance instruction, you know, are they here for themselves and about just performing for them? Or are they here to, yes, to do that, but also to give, right? Giving that gift, uh, transforming lives, you know, caring for others and using that. So that's, you know, kind of a something you got to have. You got to be willing to give. The second is the ability to be coachable, right? Are you coachable? Are you willing to learn? Like feedback is something in our, in our, in our industry that you got to be able to be comfortable with, right? It's not about perfection, right? For I always tell them perfection is the lowest standard you can have because perfection can sometimes uh, prevent progress. So I'm looking for that. Uh, and I'd say the last thing I look for is, you know, how, how well do they communicate? Because communication is key. How well have they been able to communicate with the team members in the past? So I asked them questions related to, you know, how they feel they communicate um, with, with their bosses, with their uh, peers, uh, if they had clients or customers, you know, level of communication. Uh, and are they willing to improve that, right? Because that's another skill that you can get. We all have some level of communication, but are we willing to continue to improve through those levels of communication? Does anybody have any celebrations they'd like to share with the group? I speak better English. Hey! <laughs> speaks better English. Uh, what is the intro program? What is the first program? What's the bronze? Nice. And, uh, Very good. Very good. So he's been going to NSTD training, right? That Wednesday training. That's great. Today's training, obviously, one of those tricks about these Zoom trainings is that we're hoping that the operators, the managers, are following up, right? Because that's a lot of um, information. But if they just hear it once and never use it again, so I count on them, right? Just like Cyprus, that's where we're at. You know, my wife Elena was is, is manager of that very successful studio. Um, but we have that balance right, between each other. I know she's definitely. A much better manager, operator of that studio than I ever was when I managed the studio. Uh, and so, you know, finding that balance of you know, one. I think it's all about adding value and, and understanding your roles and the people around you and your team. You're hoping that they're going to outperform you. Uh, so that's one of the things about an entrepreneur. Is it about <laughs> you need to be the star and you need to be the top? Uh, you're probably not ready to grow, right? Because growth and control work inversely. The more I want to grow, the less I get to control. 